We'll have a conversation. I'll tell you what he's going to say. What's he going to say, Dennis? He's going to say the lawyers thought that Cathy should not be convicted. Yeah. But there were lots of other things to convict him on. Okay. That Andrew Mlangenian, Elias Matsaledi, would might get 12 years. Uh, the rest of us would get heavy sentences. Yeah. Nelson and Walter and probably Dennis most likely would get the death sentence. And, uh, but Andrew says when the death sentence, I mean the life sentence was handed down, it was a bit of a shock for him because yeah. he was hoping for only 12 years. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can imagine. Yeah. You, you had s such an incredible defense team. Uh, let's remind the viewers, we had Bram Fisher, um, a distinguished Afrikaans lawyer at the time, assisted by Harry Schwartz, Joel Joffe, Arthur Chaskelson, and George Bezos. Um, and Vernon Berendt. Berendt. And Berendt. Vernon Berendt, let's not forget. Uh, what was it like for them? I mean, this must have been one of the most difficult cases for them. W what was your relationship like with them? Well, apart from uh, Chaskelson, I had known all of them personally. Uh, so my f question to Brown was, who is this young chap? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's Arthur Chaskelson. And I remember Brown's response was, this is the new, is going to be the new measles of South Africa. Yeah. Measles, as you all know, was the top advocate in the country. Uh, he says, Chaskerson is going to be the new, ma new, new measles. Yeah, yeah. And, mm. so he, and so he did turn oh, into that. That's yeah. good as a bit ease. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was your, your I mean, <coughs> when, when, when you communicated with them, what was the sense, what was the feeling um, from those that were defending you? Um, how did they feel? Were they very negative? Did they feel positive at all? Did they understand and explain to you guys this is you could die. Um, how did they speak to you? How did they work with you? No, they were political lawyers, so they understood the politics of it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, the manner in which the trial had to be conducted, the accused themselves also decided that this is a political trial, not just a criminal trial. Uh, and it has to be conducted politically. And the lawyers being political, of course, accepted that, uh, that approach. Yeah. And Mariba, as, as we said, uh, set the tone of how the defense is going to conduct its, its yeah. trial. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that speech that was made, uh, that we've been replaying over and over again, yeah. Yeah. where Madiba said, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Um, how did you feel standing there? Because Mandela is, in his words, saying he's prepared to die. You got the death sentence hanging over your head. He voiced that concern. You were the rest of those that were being accused and could follow suit. How did you feel when he said that? I, I must confess that I knew what he was going to say because we'd all read the speech and we'd discussed it with him. But when he said it, I realized he was saying, hang them all, hang all of us. And I felt just a sense of elation to share this moment. It was such a moment of pride. You don't choose to be on trial for your life, you know. But to have it stated in such, with such courage and elegance, I like to think of it as grace under fire. Yeah. And a great moment in my life, yeah. truly. And I think for all of us, there yeah. was no sense of fear. Uh, you asked how our lawyers handled it. Yes. They'd warned us, expect the worst. We will do the best we can, and we will see if we can, in effect, save your lives. That's what the trial was about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a wrap. Apparently, I have to wrap, which I'm hearing a huge cry from the audience outside that's listening, I can imagine. But the crowd that's listening to this and the crowd that gathered outside your court on that day was uh, perhaps not as big as the viewership we've got, but it was a massive crowd that had gathered outside the court. What did it mean to you to have the support? What did that mean? That, that you had the support of the country behind you? It was very, very important for us, for our morale and politically. Yeah. It was very important for us to see the huge crowds showing the solidarity with the accused people. It gave you the strength oh, you yes. needed.
on your way to prison. Gentlemen, if you don't mind, we'd like to carry on talking to you, but it'll be just in a short while after eight. For our viewers on SABC 2, unfortunately, this is the end of the conversation here, but on Channel 404, you'll be able to catch more of this conversation with uh, Dennis Goldberg, Ahmed Katrada, and Andrew Mlangeni, who's on the line. We're hoping to talk to him as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow, but for DSTV viewers, we'll see you after eight. Shop, shop, everyone.